you actually have uh, three category of uh, in ingredients in, in a fragrance. Um, you have the olfactive uh, ingredient themselves and they usually come in a very oily, um, oily form. Um, you know, from, from nature or from some lab. Uh, then you have um, alcohol uh, that will allow the, the, the olfactive composition to properly dilute and, and be spray uh, on the skin and sometimes you have water. So if you look at uh, the ingredient list at the, at the back of a fragrance, you find alcohol denat and it says denat because you are not supposed to drink it. Uh, then it says aqua for water and then you have fragrance and the reason why it just says fragrance and doesn't detail all the uh, ingredients and all the, the flowers and, and woods and everything which goes inside is, is to protect the artist behind the fragrance because as you, as you maybe know, it can take sometimes years, years for, uh, to a perfumer and thousands of iterations to come to the perfect perfume, to the perfect balance, to a composition that will just be pleasurable, will not disturb the nose, will last on skin, will be creative, will evoke positive emotion. It's, 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 really, it's really a piece of art. So for that reason, it's protected by intellectual property and, and the perfumer doesn't reveal all, uh, all the proportion and ingredient that he has used to develop his perfume. However, um, like any product that you apply on skin, it's uh, regulated, at least in Europe. So um, you have an organization that will define uh, the proportion of every ingredient that can be in a perfume, what ingredient can be in a perfume, and to ensure that um, it's, it's, it, it remains uh, healthy. Um, Valor Absolu follows, of course, those rules, uh, but we even go further because there are a few ingredients um, that we believe um, shouldn't be in a perfume, and, and we'll do a video on that uh, later on. Uh, so we even push it further than uh, the regulation that you can find. But just to say that within the fragrance term that you see at the back, there are um, all a lot of ingredients, but those are regulated. And then on the ingredient list, you see after fragrance, you see a lot of names that sometimes sounds very bizarre. And, and those are the allergen um, because we have to, it's, it's an obligation to list the molecule that are inside the perfume and could potentially create allergies. It's interesting to know as well that the more a perfume is natural, usually the more you see allergen in, in the ingredient list because um, you know, allergies come from nature, from flower, from pollen, from animals, and the natural molecules tend to be very allergenic. So that's why you, you, you might see more on some perfume than on others. And it's not a negative, it's actually usually the sign that you have more nature in one than in the other. Um, and then in the case of Valor Absolu, we then have um, additional active ingredient that we put in our bottle like uh, minerals, potassium, magnesium, calcium, and uh, an extract of the immortal flower uh, that is uh, used to boost uh, well-being uh, feeling. So um, that's how you should read uh, any ingredient list on a perfume. And uh, please send more questions on that because I'm a firm believer that more we all know about perfume, the better it will be for uh, this industry and, and to ensure that we get the best products on the market.